Today's episode, I got a uh, new rod, as you can see. FedEx man just dropped it off. I need a new rod because my Mach 2 uh, speed sick, no Mach 1, my Mach 1 speed sick, when I was casting out at the river, it, uh, I had a rock and tip it broke off. So I had some Cabela's gift cards. Um, and I got a new rod and honestly I didn't pay that much for it. I think I paid like $35 for it. But I'm gonna open it up. See what we got here. Uh. All right, get this out. We'll unwrap it. Hmm. I like the grip on it. Feels good. Pull this off. I can even get it off. Well, take the plastic off and we are good to go. So this is a one piece rod, seven foot. Um, at the Berkeley. Again, I paid like $34, $35 for it. I will put a uh, link in the description below. So it is a seven foot lightning rod. Um, one piece casting rod. Um, I, it's, oh it, you know, yeah, another thing is the one piece cast rod, seven foot heavy. I have never owned a uh, heavy rod before. So I guess this stuff for like um, top water, like with frogs, um, jigs, little swim baits. I wanted to get some for big swim baits, but um, I think this only can cast little small uh, swim baits. Um, I guess, I mean, like I said, I am a big fan of uh, getting stuff that is cheap and that works very good. So again, $35. I did not want to go out there and spend $150, $200 on a rod and reel. But this does the job. Um, I will put this on again on my Mach 1 uh, reel because my pole broke off. But you can see right there, it's what it looks like. Berkeley Lightning Rod. It says right here. So, what is this, a seven foot heavy? Lure 5.8 through 1, half an ounce line, 12 to 25 pounds. So yeah, I mean, maybe you could throw some swim baits on this. Not the really big ones, but I mean, it looks like it's pretty stiff. And yeah, you might be able to. I don't know. I'll give it a shot, but I always want to rod to throw big swim baits. But maybe this one will work. If not, um, I could use this for top water. And especially when I go kayak fishing, you use those jigs to catch those monster fish. So yeah, right there. I'm going to show you a little, um, see if I can get it focus for you um uh, bad angle but uh maybe all right let's see i don't think that's gonna work but um as you can see right here it just says lightning rod there it goes here right here the lightning rod right there gets it right there um i don't know again off cabela's website uh i mean i never Really owned a heavy rod, like I said, this is my first one. It's pretty stiff. Um, I don't know, guys, comment below and let me know like what baits I should throw with it. I'm not too familiar with it. I run internet, again, frogs and stuff like that. But yeah, it has a little nice cork handle right here. It's pretty smooth. See, if you want to screw it in, that's pretty smooth. Uh, eyelids on it, I mean, the eyes on it, whatever you want to call it. The guides, whatever, pretty thick. Um, yeah, so I mean, again, I would highly recommend this is this is again a Berkeley Lightning Rod. I highly recommend it. Um, I think I paid again thirty five bucks for it. There are rods out there you have to pay a hundred to two hundred dollars, but I mean, I'm gonna go um, test this out this week. Put again, put it on my bait caster and see what I could use. Um, I mean, see what I can catch um, and see how it performs. I mean, thirty five dollar rod, <laughs> you can't beat it. Okay, you can't. And there is a. Uh, one year warranty on it, it's saying. So if it breaks, I can just send it back in and they will give me a new one. So, I mean, yeah, it's, I don't know what to say about it because I mean, I haven't used it yet, but um, right here, stainless steel guides, double locking reel set, uh, rubberized cork wrapped full handles. So those are like all the features of it. Um, so yeah, I guess it's an overall rod. Um, Highly recommended, people say. And the reason why I did buy this, again, I was on Cabela's website. Uh, 
It was like four and a half out of five star rating. So that's why I got it. And again, the price guys, I'm really big on cheap fishing rods. So I do not want to go out there and spend 200 to $300 on a rod that I do not need. If I can get some for 30 to $50, I'm all in for it. Um, again, if I was a professional fisherman, but I'm not, I wouldn't, I mean, honestly, by the way it looks, I would get every size of this. If it's heavy, um, medium heavy, light, ultra light, I'll get all these rods because they're $30. You could probably get five rods of this for a price of one of the uh, really expensive ones. But I know people are like, oh, you get what you pay for. But so far looking at this rod and I've been fishing for a long time, it, it's probably better than the mocks that I got. I mean, the eyes are steel, the rod's really stiff. I just feel like it's not, I don't know. I just feel like it's very comfortable and we'll see. We'll see when we go out there uh, this week. Um, probably to use. I'm gonna go to the pond because I know if I get to the pond, I will catch a fish off of it. Um, and see, I don't know. I'm gonna throw a jig or a top water. I'll probably throw a little Ned rig with a heavy jig head on it. Um, and see what I can get. And see what I can get. Um, I don't know. I'm excited uh, for this rod. I mean, I might just go buy more. If there's any spinning spinner ones like that, I might go more. I did. I know that ugly stick I had. I didn't like. Um, I don't really like. It's too tall. Too tall for me. This is a seven footer and the price is $35. I might get another one if I go out there and perform well with it at the ponds and I catch monster, I mean fish, or even if I catch a little fish and I like it, I will purchase another one. Um, yeah, I just like the design on it. I'm, I'm always a big fan of Berkeley ever since I've been a kid. I like Berkeley because I used to catfish a lot when I was a little kid in Berkeley. Um, I don't know, my dad got me a reel from, he worked at a pawn shop and he got me a Berkeley. I still have it, a rod and reel for like uh, flathead catfishing. Everyone was saying, oh, that rod stinks. But that rod, that rod caught the biggest fish in that pond out of everyone else who had used it. So, I mean, Berkeley is the way to go. They sell good baits, they sell good rod and reels. And honestly, I mean, if they have different colors of this, I could probably call them and ask them. If I can get different colors, I can get a red one, a blue one, an orange and green one, cool colors like that. If they could do that for me, I will buy more. So yeah, I mean, that's about it. I just want to uh, show you guys I got a new rod, just a quick video on Berkeley. And again, you don't need to spend an arm and a leg, like $200 to $300 on a rod. It's just not worth it. So yeah, I'm not going to uh, put this together, uh, put this on my reel, go fish it. And the next video I show you guys will be me fishing with this rod. So yeah, that's about it. And... As always, catch big fish. Have a great day.